Athy Kids and Parents! This weekend in Athy Kids, we are continuing our Resurrection Story series with Jesus enduring the cross. Early Friday morning, the leaders of the Jews met together to condemn Jesus, their king whom they rejected. Later that morning, Pilate condemned Jesus too, succumbing to the pressure of the leaders and the people. Then those who had seized Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Jesus said nothing. Again, the high priest said to Jesus, you must swear to this, I command you by the power of the living God to tell us the truth. Tell us, are you the Christ, the Son of God? Jesus answered, yes, I am. But I tell you, in the future, you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of God, the powerful one, and you will see him coming in the clouds in the sky. When the high priest heard this, he was very angry. He tore his clothes and said, this man has said things that are against God. We don't need any more witnesses. You all heard him say these things against God. What do you think? The people answered, he is guilty and he must die. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate the governor. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. And they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Christ? But the leading priests and elders told the crowd to ask for Barabbas to be freed and for Jesus to be killed. Pilate said, I have Barabbas and Jesus. Which do you want me to set free for you? The people answered, Barabbas. Pilate saw that he could do nothing about this and a riot was starting. So he took some water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. Then he said, I am not guilty of this man's death. You are the ones who are causing it. Then Pilate freed Barabbas. Pilate told some of the soldiers to beat Jesus with whips. Then he gave Jesus to the soldiers to be killed on a cross. Pilate's soldiers took Jesus into the governor's palace. All the soldiers gathered around Jesus. They took off his clothes and put on a red robe on him. Then the soldiers used thorny branches to make a crown. They put this crown of thorns on Jesus' head. They put a stick in his right hand. Then the soldiers bowed before Jesus and made fun of him. They said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit on Jesus. They took his stick and hit him on the head many times. After they finished making fun of Jesus, the soldiers took off the robe and put his own clothes on him again. Then they led Jesus away to be killed on a cross. At noon, the whole country became dark. This darkness lasted for three hours. About three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. This means, my God, my God, why have you left me alone? Again, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, and then he died. Then the curtain in the temple split into two pieces. The tear started at the top and tore all the way down to the bottom. Also, the earth shook and rocks broke apart. The graves opened and many of God's people who had died were raised from the dead. They came out of their graves after Jesus was raised from the dead. They went into the holy city and many people saw them. The army officer and soldiers guarding Jesus saw this earthquake and everything else that had happened. And they were very frightened and said, he really was the son of God. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in clean linen shroud and laid it in his own tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone at the entrance of the tomb and went away. On the cross, Jesus was killed alongside two common criminals. Yet there were supernatural signs that gave testimony to the fact that Jesus was the Son of God who died to save his people. The teaching points will vary slightly from classroom to classroom, such as in the younger pre-K through primetime classes, we will learn that Jesus died to save people from their sins. He gave access to God and healing from sin. Jesus died according to the scriptures. Jesus, the Lamb of God, Jesus died to save all. Respond to his sacrifice. 
In the older Next Level class, the points will be, Jesus was rejected as the King. We have access to God and healing from sin. Jesus was crucified as a criminal. We are reconciled. And Jesus was killed as the Son of God. We are covered in Christ's righteousness. This weekend, we want to drive home what Jesus provided by enduring the cross. When Jesus died, the temple veil was torn in two. The splitting of the veil showed the way into God's presence that was now open to everyone through a new and living way. Now, through Jesus, anyone can come directly to God without a priest, sacrifice, or ritual. Jesus has provided access into God's presence. He has paid the price of sin for any who believe in Him. Praise the Lord. We'll see you this weekend.